You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Aloha, everybody. Hope you're spreading some kindness and positivity in your world, inspiring and motivating others. Welcome to the show. Welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. Yes, very welcome. And my name is Rob. We're glad that you are with us, spending a few minutes of your day. As we've said for all of these episodes, we know you have a lot of options and you're choosing to be here and we appreciate that. Hold us accountable. Follow up. Ask questions. If we didn't answer the question the way you want, ask it again. Mm -hmm. Go deeper. We'd love to hear from you, whatever that looks like. Go deeper. So come on down. Come on down. (laughs) This Saturday night. Or right now. One night only. Or in the morning drive. Or every day. Or when you're shaving. Whenever you have time. Whenever you have, when you're on a walk. Between cutting your hair (laughs) and shaving your face. Anyways. (laughs) Yes, Sorry. welcome. We're you glad like, you're with us. You don't like my movie voice? No, I love it. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's fantastic. All right, before we get into today's question, I just want to say a special thank you to everyone who supports Drone U, supports growing the industry and getting the right information out there. If you are not a Drone U member and have exclusive access to the online community, to get inspired and motivated or check out two of our brand new classes that just launched, the Subject Tracking Course, which is now online, or the Construction Mapping Course. That's right, Construction Mapping, Cell Phone Tower Mapping, and mapping in general are all on the site. We will be doing more mapping classes. We're gonna be doing, I don't even wanna say because I don't want our competitors to copy us because that happens all the time. Uh, And you know what, I'm flattered, so thank you. Um, But we're really excited to uh, keep things moving. If you're not a member, check it out, droneu.education. Make sure to check it out. Also special thanks to one of our other new sponsors, Yes, that's right. We're, we're very happy to be uh, welcoming these new sponsors on with us. And by the way, we do want to mention the fly-in. The drone you fly-in. August 3rd through the 5th. 10 flight missions to test your skills. That's right. Are you the best or do you just talk the talk? We'll find out as 100 pilots compete in 10 exercises to win cash and drones. Check it out. DroneUFlyIn.com. Indeed. All right. So welcome (laughs) to our friends at Dynex Drones. Whether you're looking to grow your current business or you're just wanting to get into the game, you might want to check them out, DynexDrones.com. They make it super easy and even more importantly, perhaps affordable to buy your next drone because they'll offer you low monthly payments. They've got a program to which you can buy a drone. And I believe you can grab your new equipment and start making money with your drone right away. I don't think you'll even have to have any money up front, but go to their website to make sure about that. And... You can save 25 bucks off your order by using the code DRONEUSAVE25. So D-R-O-N-E-U-S-A-V-E, the number two, the number five, and you're going to save 25 bucks off your order. Check them out, DynexDrones.com. Boom. All right, let's get to today's question because uh, I think this is a good one because a lot of people expect their clients to do everything, and uh, I, I just don't think that's the world we live in. So this is going to be a good one. Here we go. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Tom from Western Massachusetts. I love the show. I listen all the time off of YouTube. I've received a lot of really good information. I'm just about to take the leap into the drone industry. A lot of that has to do with your podcast. I've gained a lot of confidence with all the information that you've given me. And uh, so I thank you very much for all of that. I was just listening to one of your podcasts. It was talking about contracts with your clients. Uh, There was a lot of information covered, one of them being the fact uh, that you really need to make sure that in your contract, your client needs to know that they need to be very safe as far as 107, making sure people are not around their clients, um, their employees during your flight uh, for safety reasons. That makes perfect sense. Turning off their Wi-Fi and making sure that you're minimizing as much as possible any kind of interference for safety reasons. That makes perfect sense. You use the car dealership as an example of that. And my question is, where I'm from, I'm sure it's like this uh, throughout the country. Most car dealerships 
you know, you go to a car dealership, there'll be six, seven, eight dealerships stacked right next to each other. Now, let's say your client is perfectly happy with the contract, abides by everything that is in it. What about the dealerships right next door? Okay, they're not going to care that you're filming and that you're flying your drone. They're not going to turn off their Wi-Fi. They're not going to tell people to stay clear. Or if you're shooting, you know, for a business at a strip mall and there's businesses all stacked right on top of each other. Uh, Same thing. So my question is, how do you get around that? How do you uh, show up to the job and your client is abiding by all this? But 20 feet away, you have these other businesses. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, Thank you guys for taking the time to listen and to get back to me. Hope you have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Really appreciate the thorough question there. Ask DroneU.com if you've got a question. You know, I think he brings up some good points. Um, and, and I love when people dig into the things that we say and kind of break them down a little bit and say, hey, yeah, but what about this? And, and that's exactly what he's done. So, you know, it's uh, there's some creativity that's involved in this game, right? Yes. And I think it's important to talk about a creative solution uh, that would solve the problems that he's mentioning. But I also think it's important to talk about that even though in your contracts, you put the responsibility on your client to turn off Wi-Fi and to turn off all those things. My expectations of those things actually happening are like slim to none. Mm -hmm. It's just a legal contract that says, if I have interference that ends up crashing the drone and into something of yours and you didn't turn off these things that you said you're going to turn off, I am not, or my insurance is not liable for this damage. It's your fault. Correct. Um, now, that being said, let's say that one car dealership does turn off all its Wi-Fi and there are eight around and they don't. I'm not really sure you're going to run into a problem because the effective range of a lot of those Wi-Fi transmitters is like maybe 200 feet. And as I was trying to explain to a NOAA representative in Hawaii, 200 feet means 200 feet in every direction. Um, so 200 feet up, 200 feet at 5 degrees, 10 degrees, 25 degrees, 45 degrees, 87 degrees. Okay. Um, it means 200 feet laterally in every direction. A sphere, essentially. Yes. Which, yeah. I, for whatever reason, this Noah lady just could not wrap that around her head. And I was like, look, I will comply with flying around some endangered species. Mm-hmm. And I was like, look, I'll stay 100 feet away from him. I'm already 100 feet away from him. She's like, no, you're not. And I'm like, well, let's talk about lateral distance here because that's, that's <laughs> what the rule says. So, well, anyway. and sometimes that's part of the gig is some education, right? Well, yeah. And I, have, I said, you know, I'm, I really appreciate you being nice about this and I'm going to comply with your rule, but I'm just letting you know, you're wrong. Yeah. And so anyway, uh, that was a switch track. Sorry. Uh, but going back to this important situation of flying, um, I think having these things in your contract is there to protect you. It's just like why a perfect example in Hawaii, right? There are certain hikes that are quote unquote illegal. Do you know why they're illegal? Because it, it, it totally clears the government of any wrongdoing whatsoever. Because like if you slip and fall and die fall and try to sue the federal government. No, no, that's not going to work because they already were like, no, don't walk here. In fact, you're going to owe us money for <laughs> yeah. coming, <laughs> wasting for us our to time. Come save you, you dummy. <laughs> that's right. Um, so, I mean, it, it, the whole idea here is to really say the onus is on them. Mm. Um, now, I don't think he's going to run into problems with the other the Wi-Fi from other dealerships. I really don't see that as an issue. But he really he doubles down on the whole thing. He's like, well, what if I'm filming a business in a strip mall? And it's just like, okay, I see you. I see what you're doing here. <laughs> That's right. um, two creative solutions for you. Uh, creative solution number one would be to do this. Go in the early morning. If you can, if the light is facing the right direction, go in the early morning. This is the same thing we do with resort filming. We always go out in the early, early morning, right as the light is, is you know, coming up over the mountain. And the reason is, is number one, you get great light. But number two, you have very few people uh, who are on site, mm-hmm. who are there. Typically, the parking lots are empty. You're not going to be worried about flying over people. You're not going to have those issues. You just got to get there early. And when I mean early, I mean like 
the butt crack of dawn. Well, basically just before the sun comes up, so you're ready to fly when the sun's coming up. <sighs> that's right. Right? Yep, that's Whatever right. Whatever time that, that is. And that's what takes a good drone pilot. You know, one of the things that uh, we're going to be talking about here is a couple people have said, you know, I'm really having a hard time breaking into the industry because some of these guys who have been around for a while are just producing really quality products. Guess what? So can you, but you've got to take the extra effort. And we're going to talk about that in a totally different show about uh, new strategies to break into the market. Um, but, you know, guys, as, as long as you are quality, you are thinking about creative ways to solve problems, you are going to remain on top. You, it's just it's just a simple. You will remain on top. So I think the simple solution to his question is eat, shoot it in the early morning. You know, if he wants to get really crazy and he's really worried about Wi-Fi, which he shouldn't be, um, Again, you can check if Wi-Fi is going to be a problem in your area by having the Explorer 5G um, spectrometer. You can buy one on Amazon. They're like three or 400 bucks. Uh, and you can see right away if you're going to have an issue or not. But if you really want to get creative and pull a little James Bond and really make sure that you're not going to have a problem, if you're like me and you have a couple cell phones, don't ask why. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one of them's red, but uh, other than that's fine. <laughs> um, Call Comcast or whoever. Let's say, uh, um, let's say you're in Hawaii, you have Spectrum, or you're in Texas and you have Cox Cable, whatever it is. Call them from a couple different phone numbers and say you're really having internet problems. Can they just reset the localized router because you're having connection trouble? And they will literally reset the whole Wi-Fi in that area. Uh, I've seen it done. We've had it actually done here at DroneU once or twice. Um, the tech had to call in. But look, if it shuts down all the Wi-Fi for 25 minutes, <laughs> you're going to be really in a good spot. So uh, obviously the routers don't stay down for very long. It's right. There's a whole reboot process. You're probably not going to have 20 minutes, probably more like five. But uh, you know, if you really want to get James Bond and have some fun with it and really gamify your experience, there you go. Have some fun. That's funny. But the bottom line, again, is that the risk is actually relatively low that that's going to be an yes. issue. It's more to protect you in the rare event that it is. Correct. So yeah, yes. there you go. Yep. Anyway, I remind me, I still uh, need to get that, our, our new contract to our members on the site. So anyway, cool. um, yeah, that's going to do it for us today. If you have a question, go to askdroneu.com. If you enjoy the material here, don't be afraid to subscribe. That means you'll get our shows automatically downloaded to your phone so you can listen to them when the newest, hottest information comes out. And it may even save you and your business one day. So please subscribe. If you have a question, ask Drone You, and don't be afraid to leave a review. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. <laughs> <laughs>